All right, this presentation is more for those who are a little more analog than uh, digital, and you prefer your <laughs> your books to um, to online resources. These are concordances, and they are fantastic for flattening posters, uh, but they're also very good for um, for looking up words, uh, particularly in your English Bible. That's what a concordance is. It is a catalog of the occurrences of English words in your English translation. So I have one here for the New American Standard and one for the New Revised Standard. Uh, I, I, I've had a lot of good days with this concordance. I'm going to move this one over and I'm going to show you a little bit of how we would use the concordance. So I'm going to move this down and we're going to take a look a little bit more closely at what we can accomplish by using a concordance. All right, we got to get closer. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to open it up and we're going to look at um, doing the same thing we did in the last online uh, tutorial on looking at the word justice or mishpat. We're going to get a little closer as well. And we're going to look at the occurrences of justice and mishpat. We can see here, as we look up here, the, the word justice is here. Every time the word justice in English is in the New American Standard, it is recorded here. And you can see the verse number that it is recorded in, as well as a keyed number for the Hebrew and Greek terms for justice. So you can see all this here. Um, we're interested more on this side. Remember, we were talking about Amos, or Hosea, Amos, and Micah. And you can see all the occurrences going on here. Now, to get access to them, we look here, the number 4941, our verse Amos 524-4941. Now, it's a little cumbersome, but in order to get there, what we have to do is we have to turn to the back of the concordance to number 4941. And as we do that, we're looking for 4941, and as we find that, we look down here, and we can see 4941 in Hebrew mishpat, English mishpat. So if you don't have, you don't know your Hebrew, you can see the transliteration here. And then you can see the various ways that it is uh, that it is uh, translated here. Are the major ones you're going to see um, judgment, judgments, and justice. So 62 times judgment, 40 times judgments, and 118 times justice. So by looking at that, you can go back and you can see every time it is used. If that term is shows up here, this and you would have to. If I want to look up judgments, I would look up judgments. If I want to look up justice, um, I could do that as well. So that's the way a concordance works. It's a little more cumbersome, but um, I've had a lot of good days with this concordance, and uh, it's hard for me to get rid of it. Um, but my Bible software has just about replaced my concordance. Uh, but this gives you an idea of what you can use a concordance for.